Hello gamers and Mortuarian, welcome back to the very first episode in a series of Citadel Forge with Fire uh, episodes. I already did a few streams, but uh, yeah, I will be starting a real series on the game. First of all, we are into character uh, creation mode. It, it is a bit limited. Character creation is a little, a little bit limited for now. But yeah, you can choose whatever you want. I think I will be picking this. I think something a little bit pale. Of course, red hair. Uh, the nails can be yellow for me and the eyes can be blue. My name, character name will be Mortuary, of course. And as I mentioned in the stream yesterday, this is, well, yesterday, the previous stream, this is actually a brand new server. This is our very own community server, so accessible for our patrons and stuff. If you want to know more about how to become a patron, check the uh, links in the description and you will find all information up there. Now, uh, first thing you will choose is your spawning location. And uh, yeah, apparently it's uh, it really depends on, on what you want to do. Uh, each starting zone is best for different things. Like uh, this side to the west is known for its uh, ghost orchids and, and crowberries and other things and uh, mo lots of plants and mountains and even some ores. The east side on the other hand is known for a few caves and caves, uh, caves spawn a lot of materials like, like uh, these precious stones and gold and uh, more gold and uh, more stuff. And the center, I have no idea, I haven't spawned there yet. So um, yeah, I think it's more general. I am, I am not sure, I am not sure. I think I will be spawning on this side for now. So let's just uh, spawn in the same place we spawned in yesterday. We did a complete wipe of the surf because something was wrong and I tuned a few things. Uh, our server has some uh, increased rates, so I will be talking about that in a second. You see, I'm spawning uh, inside a forge, well, citadel, forge with fire. So yeah, I'm, seems like I'm, I'm made out of fire. Uh, our server has some raised rates. I, uh, I did the XP times two, I think some resource gathering times two, and some uh, attributes and, and knowledge points, time to. So first things first, you just run around, you're a, way, a wizard, a mage, a wannabe mage actually, you're uh, in a school. Well, you will try to get to the top mage level. You see, I have some race gathering rage, one stone gets me two stones and things like that. So that's, that's going quite nicely. Once you leave this starter area, uh, you will see you come into a little open area and more resources are up here. This is you spawn normally in a safe zone. So you will see that there is a, a big bubble around the whole thing. You see a big defensive bubble around the whole thing. And uh, I think this means you cannot be hit by stuff. At least that's what we uh, kind of noticed yesterday. So mobs cannot hit you. And there are plenty of resources in here already. So you just uh, walk around, gather your first resources and see what you can do. There are a few uh, of these bluish stones in here, which uh, give you some additional uh, information. Like for example, open up your inventory to do stuff. There is also one that tells you about the crafting, how you should start uh, the crafting thing. Let me show you. There is one blue one up here normally. So this is the inventory one, right? Yeah, inventory. Then there is one that tells you, oh, level up, nice level two. This one tells you about your, the knowledge. The knowledge is actually your skills you learn. And so there is one that will t tell you about the crafting and spells as well. So let me check these. This one, the world is littered with dangerous caves, ancient ruins and more. Explore these at your own risk. The same caverns, yes. What the knowledge table? Press B to the oh yeah to enter build mode. Nice. They added that one, I think. So yes, our very own server. Uh, I know Reto, one of my patrons, is already playing on here, and uh, I think we will be doing some nice stuff in the future. So this is the safe area, safe spawning spot. You have a mana regen pool. Oh uh, no, health regen pool. Mana regen pool. Now, if you would uh, have lost some health, you just jump into the pool. You will see the reddish thingy, meaning you will regen mana and regen health. So let's have a look at the other stuff. My character screen can be opened with the C key. 
you see I have two unspent points that's because yeah I can add two points for every level I added uh, times two for the attribute points which means I can have some more damage and some more weight for now that will be whatever I need to do the K key is to open up your knowledge and the first thing you probably want to learn is um, a melee weapon or a staff now from from what I have seen so far is that a gathering uh, later on you will be able to gather stuff with, with a spell and gathering seems to be based off of your damage so I'm not quite sure but I think if you want to go gather you're better off picking the the, the tool with the most damage output so in this case this would be the, the stone axe I think I'm going to try that so learn that good still have some points I can learn the staff as well nice i could learn this as well the armor there is also trinkets later on let's have a look at the utility it's always nice to be able to make mana potions and health potions definitely there will be more stuff up here structures yeah we can do some building later on i'm not going to be concentrating on that at the first few levels and spells there's one spell i can use which is mana blast um, yeah why not not actually I'm gonna be using the fireball on my staff uh, the first big uh, thing you should concentrate on is reaching level 5 so you can have the extract spell and the extract spell will allow you to gather stuff uh, more quickly like for example now I can go up to these little mushrooms here and gather some stuff by picking them up, looking at them, pressing E, but later on you will be able to gather stuff from these rocks as well. Now I cannot gather from these, but with the extract spell you will be able to gather from those as well. Okay, this is everything we need, some more resources, and we should be able to pretty soon uh, make some stuff. Actually, K key, no, is the crafting key, I think it's O key. Let's make ourselves a weapon. I can make an axe already. And for the staff I need, oh yeah, I need some of those. Let's make a, let's make the axe to start with. Craft the axe simply in your inventory. Some stuff can be crafted inside of your inventory. For some other stuff you will need uh, workstations. But we will come back to that later on. First of all, we need to get to level five and survive the starting area. Let's check the inventory. Equip my axe, right click on it, you see it equips. Now, next step I can do is check out my spells, my spell book. You see I have one spell. Uh, but if you look at it, you can only attach attach this spell to a staff. So since I now have a an axe equipped, I cannot attach this spell to my axe, not at all. I need a staff for that. So in a few, I think we will be able to make ourselves a staff. At least now I can defend myself. Not that I need defense in here, but yeah, it's good to start with something. Let me check if there is anything else up here. No, we have seen those. We have seen those. Okay, for your knowledge, I will be needing these here, the runes, because the runes are required for uh, things like, uh, uh, well, all kinds of magical things like the staff, potions, and other things as well. Nothing left in here. Nope. Anything else? Any more crystals? No. I see more stones, but no more crystals. Okay, let's start to venture outside of the protected zone. I know Rito's online. I have no idea where he is at the moment. So let's let's just head up, the, up top so we have a, a nice view on everything. So, I was mentioning this earlier, you see this bubble kind of thing. It's something which protects the starting area from all kinds of dangerous things, actually. I see some stuff up here, nothing interesting. And uh, yeah, once I leave this area, uh, I can get killed by stuff. Not only by stuff, but also by people. This is a, a PvP type of game. It's a... Uh, a survival game but it's a different survival game if you ask me it's uh, like m most of the time survival games require you to have uh, to have food and and water all the time uh, that doesn't exist in this game the things you will need in this game are 
health, and of course, mana, since we are mages, wizards after all. So yeah, we will need mana in order to, to progress, to, to do things, to cast spells and other things. Is there more wood up here? Yes, more wood. This should allow me to make something and I cannot make my first staff. Let's craft a staff. Let's raise some more damage. There you go. And for the time being, I will be concentrating a bit on carrying capacity. Uh, once I reach 100, I will be starting with uh, mana and health as well. So I made my staff, which is amazing. Now I can press the I key, equip the staff. There was a key to switch between weapons, but I kind of... G switches weapon. You see, staff, axe. You can equip two weapons, as I have shown you already. Uh, I have my staff staff and my axe equipped and no I should be able to attach a spell to uh, my let's first do the spell things I can attach a spell to my staff so this one attaches to the staff there you go so no my left cliff click using my staff will trigger a fireball spell there I can at least attack stuff now other things oh I should be able to make some other stuff like a mana vial. This is good. I need more, more of those. See those crystals. Those crystals are really important for everything related to, to crafting magical stuff. I have some more of those up here normally. Yeah, there is one. Later on, I will be able to harvest even more from these big uh, crystal formations once I'm level five. But for the time being, I have to settle with, with whatever I can get. Uh, more stuff up here. Yes, pick more stuff. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. And I will be making some more potions next. Because, yeah, we will need health potions, definitely. And we will surely need mana potions in the future. Any more of those things I can pick up? No, none at all. More wood, more wood, more flowers. Oh, here is another uh, crystal. Pick it up and pick some more wood. I don't really need the wood straight away. I will be needing lots of wood later on when we start building stuff, but I think that will be for the next episodes. Currently, we are just doing a little introduction, a little, well, getting started video. And this will work as well. Pick this one up. I should have enough materials to make at least a few things now. So let's head back to safety. Pick up this blue flower here. There you go. And I should be able to craft some more stuff. I can make lots of mana vials, lots of head vials. I think I have one mana vial already. Yes, I keep it. See, it's now behind the R key. Let's make myself some more of those health files. Yeah, why not? Uh, three. Remember also that this game is still pretty much very early access, so uh, things are changing. Change, uh, changing quite a bit, actually. Uh, I've seen patches appear quite frequently. So there we go. More stuff. Add some more to you. Add some more to you. And here we go. Let me check my inventory. I can put this in my hotbar behind the T key. Just right click to pull it to your hotbar. So now I have mana, R, health, T, which is fine, 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 fine. I'll have some more points to spend. I'm not level five yet. I could learn this one. The smash spell for my, uh, my axe, my melee. This is good. Anything else? Structures. I don't really need the structures yet, but I'm going to be learning them anyway, since I have quite a bit of points to go. Learn. Learn. Yeah, learn the door too. Rest is all level five. Anything else I can learn? Probably not. I have eight points to spend. I can make some armor. That's something to... And this too, rest is all level five. Well, since we have the points, let's learn these as well. Okay, next up, 
make some cloth, make us some armor. So I can make all this fine hats and t-shirts for those I need cloth. Cloth is made from those yellow pine flowers. So craft three cloth. You want two, three. There you go. I have three cloths, which means I can make one of those hats. Now, if you look at the spell, it says it gives four to five armor and it can add up to six magical properties. So I'm going to be crafting one, see what it gives me and equip it. Our first piece of equipment. Oh, it's for armor. It adds 29 mana and one mana regen, which is not all too bad to start with. There you go. I have this equipped, so I need more flowers and other things to uh, raise up to get more cloth. So I will have to venture out of the safety of the starting zone. And this is where you have to start being careful. Things can spawn up here. Things can kill you. Oh, I thought I had seen something. Uh, yes, a reindeer. No, I could attack it. It will probably run away. Oh yeah, sure. Lead your targets. Come on, stupid. Reindeer. Oh, excuse me. Finally, it's dead. I'm getting some hide. Hide will be used later on to make leather, of course. Leather. Check the area. I need more flowers. Flowers to make cloth. So I can have some more armor. Mushrooms are always interesting. Apparently you can eat the mushrooms too to get some mana and health back. I have never done it, but uh, it's, a, it's a thing. I heard something. It's a thing. Nothing? I thought I heard something, but I, I could be completely wrong. Yesterday when we were here, uh, Reto and me, we had a few things spawn. Look, another reindeer. It's dead. Nice. Uh, wait. There was a key to remove. Oh yeah, like this. First screenshot. Tab key allows you to switch between first and third person. And in my case, F3 key allows me to hide the user interfa interface so I can take a screenshot. There you go, pick up stuff. Oh, plenty of flowers up here. And a lot of those crystals as well, so that's good. Of course, it's not the flowers I need for, uh, for the cloth. But, uh oh, uh, I knew I saw something move, but it's another reindeer. Should be fine. I already looted this one, did I? Yeah, I already looted them. Okay. I'm level four. Heading on to level five. So I will be picking some more flowers, some more mushrooms and preparing to head out and meet up with, uh, with Reto probably in one of the next episodes. I've been collecting some stuff as in most of the survival games. The first few, few levels is just, well, getting started, getting some basic gear, getting some basic materials and trying to level up. First big step, level five, almost there. I just need some more stuff to be crafted. Oh, can I make more cloth now? Yes, I can. But still, that will not be enough to make myself a new robe, I think. Nope, I cannot make that yet. I can make more of these. Let's make for each maybe i will level up and reach level five yep level five 
Nice. Increased XP rates is good. I didn't want to make them uh, too... Well, raise the XP rates too high. Oh, no, no, cancel. Cancel, I said. It's the health ones I need. I didn't want to make it too easy, so I think times two is... Well, it's okay. She can achieve something, at least at lower levels. At higher levels, it will be a lot slower, of course. Add some points in here and add some points in there. There you go. Let's have another look. Inventory. I have everything I need. Knowledge. So the next thing you need to check is this one here. The extracts spell. Let's learn that. Check what else we can learn. Of course, I can learn more building stuff. Uh, well, I will be learning this one. Next step is level 10. Level 10 gives you the broomstick. And that's when you get uh, airborne. Airborne. But that will be for one of the next episodes, I think. I can learn all these, but I have never used those. Because uh, if I remember it correctly, you, you, you have to choose whether you use a broomstick or one of the trinkets. I will have to check that out once we get up to that level, though. Because I'm, I'm not quite sure anymore. See, all my knowledge points gone and now is the time when you can start leveling and gathering materials from other stuff. I'm going to be showing you that really quick before we log out. Uh, let's uh, pick the stick. Uh, no, the spells. I have my staff and now I can use the extract on the right click. Let me show you. I will get two wood, two orchid things. I'm going to be trying something different now. Um, oh, no. Still forget what the key is. Switch G. Add this one to the right click. Ah, I can't. Yeah, I will have to do it like this. Left click. Right click. Yeah. Let's see how much I get from... Huh, wood. It's probably still pretty much the same. But I think I'm getting other materials. Wood. No, it's pretty much the same. Oh, ghost orchids. See, I wasn't getting those with my... With this one. Oh, yeah, I do now. It's strange. It's. I will have to do some testing, but from what I have heard, the more damage your weapon does, the faster you will gather. Also, a nice thing with this one is, let me show you, I have my axe, I can start extracting, but I can still move around while extracting, so uh, I can still look around, I don't have to be stationary and uh, allow other stuff to attack me, I can just move around and do things. But I think, let me go back to the mana pool, uh, the health pool really quick, because I raised some health and I'm not regening health at all. I'm going to be jumping into the health, health pool and regen some health. And yeah, I think this is going to be it for uh, this first episode. Uh, we learned some of the basics, I hope. Uh, we will be able to learn even more in the next episode. Next episode will probably be concentrating on getting to level 10 or uh, meeting up with, uh, with Reto and doing some stuff together. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and like and share uh, this video out to other people. And I hope you will be uh, joining me for the next video. So until then, have fun and stay safe. Bye.